Hi, my name is Manish Gupta, and in this video, I'm going to talk about mixtral of experts model. Okay. Why does mixtral matter? Right. So it matters because uh, mixtral outperforms Lama to 70 billion sized model across a large number of benchmarks like MMLU, knowledge based benchmarks, reasoning based benchmarks, comprehension benchmarks, AGI, eval, math, big bench, hard and coding benchmarks. Right. So as you see here, six different models are being compared. Mistral 7 billion, which I covered in the previous video, and Mistral 8 cross 7 billion. Now we'll talk about what is 8 cross 7 billion, but the idea is that, uh, uh, and, and then there are other, other models like Llama different, Llama 2 different sizes, right? 7 billion, 13 billion, 70 billion, and even the Llama 134 billion in these charts. What you observe is that the yellow bar is typically much higher than any other bar, right? Except let's say basically in in comprehension benchmark, which it is slightly lower, and also in AJ well, where it is slightly higher, uh, slightly lower, right? But everywhere else, if you basically uh, compare uh, the yellow bar with uh, uh, the green bar, for example, the best green bar, you know, for example, in maths and code, it basically is vastly superior. So Mistral matters because it is super awesome compared to Lama 2 7, 70 billion parameter model. Now. Mixtral model essentially has 5x lower number of parameters compared to Lama 2. In fact, it has only active 13 billion parameters, right? So it is 5x smaller and much better across several benchmarks, vastly superior in maths and code generation. Okay. Same kind of stuff is also illustrated in these charts, where on the x axis, what is plotted is active number of parameters, and y axis actually plots accuracy across different kinds of benchmarks like MMLU, maths benchmarks, or uh, oh, sorry, uh, you know, uh, MMLU, uh, various kinds of uh, you know question answering benchmarks or knowledge benchmarks, reasoning benchmarks, math benchmarks, and so on. Okay. So what you observe, you know, the orange uh, lines here basically indicate mistral and mixtral, and the red one basically indicates Lama to different uh, size of checkpoints, 7 billion, 13 billion, 70 billion. And you observe that, uh, let's say, if you look at the math benchmark, your best orange point is way higher compared to the best red point. Okay, so that is why mixtral matters. Now, how does mixtral compare to the other LLMs? Okay, so if you basically compare it with, uh, let's say, Llama 2, uh, 70 billion, we already compared in the previous slide, but if you even compare it with GPT 3.5, mixtral is superior across several different benchmarks. Okay, so as you observe, you know, mixtral is better. So mixtral is better, even when it is not so awesome, it's not really very bad. So, you know, uh, uh, even compared to GPT 3.5, okay. So in fact, uh, uh, so a Mixtral can actually support multiple languages. So Mixtral is not just better than Lama 2, uh, 70 billion and GPT 3.5 in English, but it actually is way better compared to seven, uh, Lama 2, 70 billion, even in other languages like French, German, Spanish, Italian, and even in code generation for that matter. Okay. Now, what Mixtral folks did was to not just take their model uh, as is, but also instruct fine tune it and leading to something called as Mixtral instruct. So what is Mixtral instruct? Well, it's basically Mixtral. Remember, there's an X there, okay? Mixtral plus they basically do supervised fine tuning on an instruction data set. It's basically probably some proprietary data set. They don't really reveal the details of what is the instruction data set, but they also did RLHF using DPO, so uh, direct preference optimization algorithm, which is a popular algorithm these days, right? Uh, and that gives them Mixtral Instruct. Now, they evaluated Mixtral Instruct on this LMSYS leaderboard on Hugging Face, and what do, you, what do you observe? So you observe that here is Mixtral, okay? Here is their Mixtral model, which is basically an open source model, okay? Coming from Mistral AI, right? And what you observe is that it is better compared to any other open source model. In fact, it is the best open weights model as of, uh, as of, as of today, right? This is basically a snapshot taken just today. Uh, 20 January 2024. Okay. Uh, of course, there are other proprietary models coming from OpenAI, Anthropic, uh, the cloud model, right? Of course, OpenAI is GPT-4, and uh, from Mistral, Mistral, Mistral's itself, Mistral Medium, which is which is basically, by the way, proprietary, right? But uh, uh, compared to any other open source model, Mistral 8 cross 7 billion instruct is the best open source model available as of today. Okay. Uh, so how does Mixtral perform on long range uh, uh, kind of inputs, very large inputs, right? So essentially, so uh, to, to be able to measure this long range performance, uh, a popular task is this Pasky retrieval task. So what is Pasky retrieval? So you basically take a very long sentence or a very long prompt and essentially uh, synthetically generate these Pasky kind of data sets where you insert a Pasky randomly, okay? And the LLM's task is to actually retrieve where is the Pasky, okay? 
So as you observe here in this picture, Mixtral does 100%, okay? It's super green. So it basically does 100% accuracy in terms of retrieval of passkey independent of the sequence length and the location of the passkey in the entire sequence. So they've tested it across sequence lengths of up to 32K and uh, you know the location of the passkey could be anywhere, everywhere. It basically gives you 100% performance, okay? So basically saying on long range inputs also, Mixtral does really well. Now, another proof of Mixtral's long range performance is basically this uh, uh, perplexity as measured on the proof pile data set. So this is uh, this proof pile data set with long context lens. And what they observe is that, uh, you know, uh, with la increased context length, actually perplexity drops, which is an indicator that it can actually handle long inputs really well, okay? Now, uh, and lower perplexity is better as you know, right? Now, how, how biased is, are the outputs from Mixtral model? So to measure that, uh, they measure it in comparison with LAMA 270 billion. And uh, uh, to measure that, they actually make use of two data sets, BBQ data set and bold sentiment score. So BBQ and bold data set, they measure it on BBQ accuracy and bold sentiment score, uh, that's a score, okay? Higher scores indicate lesser bias, okay? Higher scores or higher accuracy indicates lesser bias. Uh, now, BBQ data set actually, in fact, measures this accuracy across nine different ways of bias, like age, disability, status, gender, nationality, physical appearance, race, ethnicity, religion, socioeconomic status, uh, and so on. In comparison, essentially, uh, the bold uh, sentiment score data set takes care of uh, five different uh, uh, you know, domains, like gender, profession, religion, political ideology, and so on. And what you observe is that uh, uh, is that Mixtral actually is better compared to Lama 2 um, on all of these bias benchmarks. So lower bias, okay, not just good performance, but lower bias as well, okay. Now, uh, lastly, you know, of course, I would like to talk talk about the architecture of Mixtral. So what is this Mixtral guy made of, okay? So Mixtral 8 cross 7 billion parameter model essentially is a sparse mixture of experts model. Uh, you know, if you're not really, if you don't know about mixture of experts, please look at my mixture of experts videos. So I've talked about switch transformers and Google's G shard model. Mixture of experts basically was really motivated by those two interesting uh, pieces of work. So look at them, okay? So, uh, I mean, in short, mixture of experts is a very, very simple architecture. It's a typical transformer-based architecture. In fact, the architecture is similar to Mistral 7 billion, okay? Except that in the transformers uh, layer, there are self-attention layers. And of course, you, you know, you have your uh, feed-forward uh, feed forward network layers. So these feed-forward network layers are actually, uh, you know, uh, changed in the mixture of, mixture of experts architecture. The change is that rather than having one feed-forward layer, you have like eight different experts, uh, eight different feed-forward layers. Okay, these experts are nothing but feed-forward layers, really. Okay, so however, you know, when a token comes in, you really do not pass this token to eight, all the eight experts. You actually pass them uh, to two experts. Okay, you a router, uh, you know, selects two of those experts where the token is going to be fired. And then, you know, you get the outputs from these two seemingly independent feed forward network layers. And then you basically, uh, you know, collect those outputs, you add those outputs, okay? So the router guy is basically, or the router guy is basically going to take your input and then depending on the uh, weights, you know, it's going to select two of those experts uh, out of those eight, right? And then it's basically going to sort of uh, add the outputs coming from those two, okay? Now, the way this is done is as follows. So you basically have uh, like uh, your uh, X, the token coming in as input, you have, you learn these weights, okay? Some sort of weights, a weight matrix, which, and then you take the top two and, uh, you know, uh, or rather you take the top two and then apply the soft max on top of it. So as to decide how much weight to give to each of the two experts, okay? Uh, now these are called as gating weights. Now, you know, these gating weights are, of course, are applied to all the eight experts. N is equal to eight in case of, uh, um, in, in case of a mixtral model, that is where this eight comes in. So it basically is like eight times seven billion in some ways, but it's not, don't get confused, not really 56 billion parameters. Overall, it has like 47 billion parameters because remember your self-attention weights don't change, okay? It's just the mixture of experts layer which basically change, gets changed, okay? The embedding, of course, also does not change and so on. So, so you have like, a, a, you know, a gating uh, logic which basically decides uh, uh, you know, which two to select, uh, which two experts to select, and how much weight to give to each of them. Now, uh, so essentially, uh, overall, the uh, output is computed as follows. Uh, you have your original token coming in, you have your weights which are trained, and then you take top two, apply softmax, that's your weights to each of the two experts, 
And then you essentially also have this Swiglu activation. So essentially your feed forward layer essentially uses Swiglu activation. And uh, that is how overall the output of uh, the feed forward layer or the expert layer in the mixed tool model is computed. Remember this, uh, uh, you know, unlike many other uh, MOE architectures, mixture of experts architectures, uh, Mixtral basically uses mixture of experts in every transformer layer rather than uh, alternate layers. Okay, every transformer layer. So in short, the architecture of Mixtral model is very similar to Mistral model, except for the mixture of experts layers. It has a dimension of 4096, 32 layers, 32 number of hair, 32k vocabulary, 32 uh, sorry, uh, 32k vocabulary, and 32 uh, 32768 as the uh, you know input context length. Okay, it has eight experts of which two are active at any time point. Okay. So now when you think about these experts, right? First, for every token, it's basically deciding which two experts to choose. So, you know, uh, you can do post analysis and try to figure out if there was some sort of locality preference for those experts, okay? So what is understood is that, uh, uh, you know, and, and here are some results shown for three kinds of uh, uh, data sets uh, across three different layers. So remember, uh, a mixed model is 32 layers. So this is the first layer, layer zero, this is the last layer, layer 31, and this is the in-between layer, of course, the middle layer, you know, one of the uh, most middle layers, layer 15, okay? And there are three different kinds of uh, uh, examples that are shown here. One is about Python code. This one is about, uh, you know, mathematical stuff, uh, mathematical question answering, and this one is about just in general English, okay? So uh, general English, logical reasoning, and so on, okay? So as you observe, Mixtral, uh, and, and what is shown here? So of course, eight different colors are shown here, standing for eight different experts. And uh, the color that is shown indicates the uh, the expert, the higher weight expert that was chosen for every token. Okay? Given any token, what is the highest or highest uh, uh, probability expert that was chosen? Okay? So what do you observe here? Some things are super clear that expert selection in MOE, in mixtures, uh, in Mixtral's mixture of experts layer, essentially is more aligned with the syntax rather than the domain. So as you observe, it's not like a particular expert is doing really well on maths and it's always going to be chosen for all math related questions and so on. No, okay. It's really dependent on certain syntax which is observed across these different kinds of domains. For example, if you look at self, you know, it's always this, uh, this pink colored guy which is being chosen. So, you know, wherever there is self, now irrespective of whichever layer you go to, right? Typically in the first and the last layer, specifically you observe that uh, uh, certain kinds of syntax always correlate with certain kinds of uh, uh, experts. Similarly, all of this indentation is all red expert or, you know, of course, in the last layer, it's all, all this yellow expert, but this consistency in terms of the expert selection, uh, depending on the syntax, okay? Similarly, if you basically look at the word question in this question answering stuff, you observe that the same expert, the same yellow expert is chosen in the last layer, okay? So, so basically seeing expert selection in, in, in mixed roles MOE layers uh, is more aligned with the syntax rather than with the domain, okay? Um, now, also another thing to be observed is that consecutive tokens are often assigned to the same expert. So there is locality, okay? So as you observe, you know, sometimes basically, for example, here indentation is green uh, chosen, a green expert is chosen for the indentation tokens, but consecutive tokens are typically given the same experts, okay? So that's that. Um, now, so, so, you know, overall to summarize this video, uh, in this video, I talked about the Mixtral 8 cross 7 billion parameter model, uh, which is the first mixture of expert model to reach state of art performance across among, among the open source models, right? It's the best open source model which is available today, okay? Uh, it basically uses two experts. Of course, it has like eight experts, but at any two point of time for inference for a particular token, you choose two experts, uh, which lead to 13 billion active parameters. And the 13 billion parameter model is way better compared to the 70 billion uh, LAMA2 model as measured on several benchmarks. They further fine-tuned Mixtral model to come up with Mixtral Instruct model, which surpasses GPT 3.5, Claude 2.1, Gemini Pro, and LAMA2 70 billion chat model. So all of these awesome chat models that you have heard about, Mixtral Instruct is actually better than them. Of course, Mixtral uh, uh, also has a RAI component, the responsible AI component in it. It has less bias compared to the LAMA 270 billion model. Okay, if you want to play around with the source code of Mixtral, here is it. And uh, you know, that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Connect with me on my LinkedIn or look at my research on my homepage. Thank you.